what is a marker? A marker is something that we use to teach our dogs that when they hear the sound, they have done something that we like and they are going to get something for it. That's the basics of it. It is part of positive reinforcement training and it's something that we really need to work on with our dogs. There are a couple of different ways to do markers. Um, in my classes, you are typically going to use either a verbal marker or a mechanical marker. Um, and there are a couple of different mechanical markers you can use. You can use whistles, you can use clickers. Um, I prefer to use a click um, to a whistle um, or um, a like verbal click. Uh, I prefer the actual clicker itself. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few of those different types of clickers and we're also gonna talk about the verbal marker. Um, so for a verbal marker, we are gonna use the word yes. And it is because our dog is doing what we want, we are gonna say the word yes. And it is going to be an excited yes. And it's going to be crisp and clear, yes. Tells our dogs they've done a good job. Um, and we pair that with a reward of some sort. Um, I typically use food because most dogs are food motivated. Not all dogs are, but most dogs are. It is also instant gratification. Um, later, as the behavior becomes reliable, we can take food out of the equation and start using more life rewards. Life rewards are things like petting and praise and toys, games, like tug and fetch and stuff like that. Um, but for the beginning teachings of a behavior, we really do need these, these behaviors to be um, rapid, or sorry, we really do need these behaviors to be pretty rapid um, and rapid repetition. It needs to be, you know, one right after the other. We're going to be building about 400 repetitions to teach our dogs to really know what they are doing, not just be getting the behavior. Um, so let's talk about clickers. Okay. Um, so the different types of clickers you can use. Um, this is the clicker that I prefer to use. Um, it makes a crisp click, okay? Um, but sometimes that's a little too loud. Sometimes it scares dogs. This is an eye click, it's a little bit softer. Um, this is a click R, it's a lot softer. This is one I will use with a dog that is fearful. Um, this is a click stick. It's the same type as the click R. Um, those are both from Terry Ryan. Um, and then this is a Cricut box clicker. Sometimes it's hard to get your thumb in the right place on that one. Um, and then of course you have a pen. Sometimes you can use that if you need to. Um, but you teach your dogs, <laughs> my dogs come running over here. Um, they're like, where's the food? Um, but you teach your dog that when they hear that sound, they're going to get something for it. So this, this is the basis of positive reinforcement training. We're going to be teaching our dogs that when they hear this sound, they're going to get something for it. We're going to positively reward the behavior that they are doing, okay? Now, the reason that this is important is because there are lots of behaviors that your dog is going to do that you need to reward that fast, okay? Doing a clicker is a lot quicker than, yes, that's good job, yay! And being able to get out a treat and give your dog. A lot of dogs that work for clickers will actually work just for the sound of the click after a period of time. Now, I'm not saying that that is something you should do, but I'm saying that that is a product of clicker training. Um, my first little service dog, Taz, once he became clicker savvy, which is what we call it, um, anytime I pulled out the clicker, he was very happy to start working right away. I 
as soon as he saw the clicker, he would start just offering anything and everything he could to get me to click the clicker. So that is a clear example of a dog that will work just for the clicker. Um, but these are tools that we are going to use in our training process. These are tools that we are going to use to help teach our dogs behaviors. Okay. The number one behavior that this teaches your dog is to turn their attention back to you. Okay. So if your dog is doing something like nuisance barking, bark, 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 bark. Okay. They have to stop at some point to take a breath. Bark, 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 bark. <gasps> Bark, 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 <gasps> bark, 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 <gasps> What is that sound? That means I get something. But the barking stopped because you clicked. So they're going to stop and they're going to turn back to you because they heard a click. Okay. And then you reward that split second of silence. Okay. And then we continue rewarding those split seconds of silence until your dog starts thinking about what they're doing and going, hmm, so if I'm quiet, that's what you like? And then we can start naming that behavior and start getting that behavior when we ask for it. And that is what the clicker does for us, okay? The ability to get our dogs to stop and turn back to us gives us a few seconds to work with any type of behavior. If your dog is reactive to other dogs or other people and they know what a clicker is and they know what the clicker means or a verbal marker and they know what that means, if they see another dog in the distance and they are focused on that dog and you see that behavior of your dog zeroing in and they're like, mm, I see that other dog there. And then you go, hey, look at me. And your dog turns back and you go, yes, good job. And your dog turns and comes to you because they know that the word yes or the click means that they're about to get something, they're gonna come and put their focus on you, not that other dog, or not that person, not that squirrel, not that leaf blowing across the yard or across the road. They're going to focus on you because they know what this means. That's why the clicker or the marker is something we have to practice. It's not something that just comes natural to our dogs. So you do have to practice it. You do have to teach it to your dog. Our dogs learn what we teach them. This is something, again, that we have to teach. Okay, so the way that you're going to teach this, there's gonna be a couple videos below to show you exactly how to teach this, but I'm gonna go over it pretty quickly with you here. You're going to take a handful of your dog's food, okay? We're not gonna use a whole bunch of treats for this, because your dog's not working really to do anything for this. They're just getting food for hearing a sound, okay? So your dog's dog food is a great resource for this, okay? You're going to click, give them a piece of food. Click, give a piece of food. Click, give a piece of food. Click, give a piece of food. And it needs to be that quick, okay? Don't try to get your dog's attention and then click and give them a piece of food because that's not what we're doing. You want to have the handful of food right in their face. Click food, click food, click food, click food, click food. If you're doing yes, it's yes food, yes food, yes food, yes food, yes food, okay? And you're gonna see that in the video below because I'm gonna do that with Yachty. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. If you have questions, please reach out to me because that's what I'm here for. I do not mind. There is information below to show you how to do that. You can text me or you can email me. I do not mind, that's what I'm here for, okay? All right, you are going to practice your marker three times a day for the next four days, okay? 
you're going to practice with your dog's feeding times or just randomly with their dog food using the marker or loading the marker and letting them know what it means. Okay? All right. Happy training!